Hey smart buddies, let's get back to school and no more with the smart sleigh. As you can see in the picture, today we'll know more about egg idioms. So the very first egg idiom is to get egg on your face. To get egg on your face means to feel embarrassed or you can say to look foolish. So the sentence here is it was a shock to see Maria losing the battle challenge after boasting so much, probably after getting an egg on her face. From now on, she will not brag too much. So she was boasting so much about herself, but after uh, losing the battle challenge, now she's looking foolish or embarrassed, so she got an egg on her face. So to get egg on your face means to look foolish or be embarrassed. Next idiom is a chicken and egg situation. A chicken and egg situation means it is impossible to say which of two things happen first or cause the other to happen. In a sentence you can say the referee was so disturbed with the wrestling fight that Judging it has become a chicken and egg situation. It means probably no one listened to him and now it is difficult to judge who gave the blow first during the fight. So it's a chicken and egg situation like a uh, chicken came first in the world or egg whose birth was first. Next is a good egg. Good egg as the name itself suggests the idiom uh, you can uh, reading the idiom you can understand the meaning it means a likable person or kind and reliable person or a good person so in a sentence we can say you can take robert's help in my absence a good egg of our group it means you can take his help in my absence you can trust him he's a likable person he's a kind and reliable person he is a good egg and the girl. Next one is bad egg. Bad egg means the opposite of good egg. So we can uh, uh, try to get its meaning. Uh, as we know good egg. So bad egg would be the person who cannot be trusted. Or a person who although may seem to be good. Turns out to be a very bad person. So that particular person who looks good on the face but he is not so good at his heart, that particular person is a bad egg. So in the similar way we can also see you can't take Robert's help in my absence, a bad egg of a crow. So he seems to be he seems to be a nice guy or a likable person or a good egg, but actually he's a bad egg of a crow. Next idiom is to kill the goose that lays the golden egg. To kill the goose that lays the golden egg means to seize or when you try to reduce a good source of income or money or business or you try to get rid of something which is not profitable to you. That means uh, you try to either uh, kill the goose that means a hen or you, you can also use the term hen. Uh, you try to kill it because uh, it's laying golden eggs. So you try to reduce it or you try to stop earning from that particular source. Or in another way you can also see when you try to get rid of something which is profitable to you. But now you don't no, no more want any profit from it. In a sentence we can say. Jerry's resignation would be to kill the goose that laid golden eggs for the company. So Jerry was a goose who laid golden eggs. But if he resigns now, it will be a situation which we can say like to kill the goose that lays the golden egg. Next idiom is a nest egg. A nest egg means our money that you save for the future or you can say retirement savings. 
Uh, it comes from the practice of leaving a real or fake egg in the nest to encourage hens to lay. So in a sentence you can say, they had a nest egg in case Jimmy decides to leave them alone in the old age home. So they still have their retirement savings and they can live upon it in case Jimmy loves them alone in the old age home. Next one is a rotten egg. A rotten egg is an egg that is no longer safe to eat. That means it will cause trouble or any type of sickness. So in vocabulary, since we can have the meaning to behave badly and cause trouble. In a sentence, you can use the idiom, we were childhood besties but now he's a rotten egg. I cannot be a friend with him anymore. Now he behaves badly or he's the person who tries to trouble others. So I'm not interested to be a friend with him anymore. Next one is a goose egg. So it means zero or nothing. That means there is no value for a thing. You must study well before investing in the startup company, a goose egg. That means this particular startup company is a goose egg. That means its value is zero or nothing. So before investing in it, you must study well. You must analyze the current scenario of the company, financial statements of the company before you invest in it. Next one is a curate's egg. A curate's egg uh, means something that is actually bad but declared good. Uh, similar to the meaning of bad egg, but today the meaning has changed to describe something partly good and partly bad. Something that is not quite satisfactory. So in a sentence, you can use the idiom and say, You must go for a demo class before enrolling for the course, else it may be a curate's egg. That means it might not be a satisfactory enrollment or a satisfactory course for you or the coaching for you or it seems to appear good but the coaching may delivered may not be uh, worthy of the investment you do in it. So you must go for a demo first. Next one is to put all eggs in one basket. To put all eggs in one basket means uh, when you concentrate all of your energy or investments in a particular situation or in a particular thing and you rely upon it and you lose everything. So one should not concentrate all the efforts and resources in one area or you should not depend on single plan as one could lose everything. So in a sentence you can say, after incurring a heavy loss in Bitcoin investments, he realized his mistake of putting all eggs in one basket. So you should not do this. Next one is to break one's egg. To break one's egg uh, means uh, to register one's first points in a game. When you uh, score a goal uh, in the game uh, very firstly, or you are the first person who scores, then you can say, to break one's egg. So in a sentence you can say, congrats team unexpectedly the team broke an egg within few minutes in the match. So as soon as the match started within few minutes we had a goal or we scored the very first score of the game. So it was from our team. So you can say to break one's egg or we broke the egg. To lay an egg. To lay an egg means when you fail completely, miserably or a flop performance. That means you didn't lay, uh, you didn't ha had a good product or output or the execution was not so well. And instead of it, you had an egg in your hand after the execution. So it usually the it fails and the performance fails because people are not interested in it or do not want it. At the time also you can say it laid an egg. In a sentence you can say, it was an utter disappointment to know that James laid an egg 
and the competition after practicing for months. He practiced for months, but still he laid an egg. That means he did not score well, or he failed, or it was a flop performance. Next one is egghead. Egghead means, or uh, you can say, uh, an intelligent person or a stupid person. So stupid here means uh, your head egg uh, head resembles sorry your head resembles like an egg and even your intelligence in a sentence you can say alcohol is common in parties stop behaving like an egghead richard so you must know that alcohol is common in parties now if you uh, uh, come in a party and if you say oh you people drink alcohol then you behave like an egghead because it's common in parties So we are done with the idioms. Stay tuned for the part 2. Till then, thank you. Keep learning, keep growing and stay subscribed.